I think it turned out great. Don't you? I went up one more layer and I put a flag on top. And it's the same kind of flag as I used on top of my watchtower. I actually don't know which one is taller now. I can't even see it, but uh, yeah, I finished it. Oh my God. It took a while to finish, but it's there and it's done. And now I am ready to start on the actual house itself. Well, the expansion of the house. Um, as you can see, I ended up taking down my stone brick wall. I didn't want to at first, but I, st I okay, as you can see here, this is like a little design I'm going to do. Initially, it kind of went up, but it was just very awkward, and it couldn't work out like that, so I took down the wall, and this is what we're going to roll with, and I am too excited to not build this right now, so we're literally jumping right into this, and we're going to have to get rid of our, our first little jungle tree here. <laughs> we're going to have to go plant it somewhere. Actually, we don't even have a jungle for this cocoa bean farm yet, so we can go make one of them. All right, so let's begin building. I'm gonna go ahead and build this bottom section. It's not even a part of the house. It's the foundation, really. And I believe I'm gonna be getting rid of this wall and that chunk right there. I don't know how long I'm gonna make it. I guess we're about to decide that. But for today's episode, I actually wanna get the whole face done of, I guess this is considered the front. I don't know if I, what, oh my Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Is your, is your master in there? I, by the way, I found llamas up in my house. You know the clubhouse? Yeah, they were up there. But they didn't have a master or a... Oh my god, they just keep these... They despawn way too quick. Okay, so this is the base design I came up with. I like the dark colors because the rest of the house is kind of green with uh, the lighter wood colors. And it's kind of expensive, but it looks good. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of a different staircase design that I came up with, but I actually like it. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. All right. <laughs> and yeah, that looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah, that's my doorway. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be that tall. Uh, we're going to have some windows over here and some windows over here. You know what? How about I just build it and show you? How about that? A little update again. I mean, I assume you like these updates rather than me just building it completely and showing you or or the other way around. I don't know, but I, I'm loving it so far. I've built this in my test world. That's why um, I'm kind of doing it pretty quick here. Uh, but I've only built the face in the uh, test world. So um, just a few minor changes as I'm building here because building in creative is far different from survival. That's for sure. But as you can see here, I kind of implemented a creeper face. It's not the exact creeper face, but you can make out that it is a creeper face. This should be called Creeper Mansion. No, but it just fits so well there, doesn't it? I don't know why, it just does, because this is gonna be the main entrance. Um, as you can see, the window designs here, I have oak on top of them, like that, and then I use panes and full, it just kinda gives that bowed look. Um, but the problem I'm having is just small details <laughs> right now. Uh, there's gonna be another set of windows up here, but I don't know if I should bring the oak up and do it again. Hmm. I know that's like a very small detail, but I don't know, it's kind of a hard decision. Now I'm looking at it, this is kind of small. I was expecting it to go more this way, because if I wanted to do it just like this, I would have to have like another sort of tower thing right here. But I'm not going to build the same tower. It's going to be different. Say goodbye to the final bit of this wall. This thing has been here forever. I just hate taking down stuff like this because I built it so long ago. <laughs> it's kind of like just nostalgic to have it. All right, we're going to see how this looks. This is a different design than I originally was doing, which was putting oak on the top like this on the top windows I don't know I just didn't feel like it looked right in my test world we'll find out uh, oh maybe I should get up there and look at it I don't know what do you guys think you see you see what I mean though right I put oak down here on these windows but up there in my test world I originally put clay where these oak are because it looks like too much oak you know what I mean or does it look fine like that? Maybe maybe I'm just overthinking it. Okay, this roof is very, very difficult. As you can see, we're still kind of at the same point because I've been in my test world trying to figure this out. Okay, get a good picture of that there. And there's the roof I kind of came up with that I'm not too happy with. What do you guys think? This is my test world, by the way. This is where I've been practicing all this stuff. <laughs> As you can see, I built the whole other tower there. This is another design I was trying to go with. At first, I thought this entrance or the doorway was too small, 
but I realized I was building with odd numbers, so I'd always end up with one door in the center. So this bigger doorway wasn't very necessary, considering I'd still have one door if I wanted it to be symmetrical. So just ignore that over there. This is kind of the product I'm going with. And the roof, like, I don't know what I want to go for with the roof. I was thinking of, like, an old... Okay, I was looking at the real building that, uh, in Batman Begins... You know, uh, Bruce Wayne's house. <laughs> and it's kind of old and gothic and it has these type of things on top. I was thinking of something like that. Or I want to scratch all that and go for a roof similar to that. It won't be pointy, of course, but it's going to be very, like, bulky. You know, kind of like a woodland mansion almost. Should I go for, like, the woodland mansion type look? Kind of something like that. Or should I go for something very gothic with pointy stuff on it like that? Forgot about that up there too. Oh man. Oh no, and then grown up yet, or even cracked out of his shell. Uh, I, I've been working on that for so long, I completely forgot that. Like we're in our world here. It feels like a comp. Was that animated before? That wasn't. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I want to do some CD time. I haven't got a seat. Oh god, that creeper scared me. Yeah, let's go do a CD. Okay, this is really starting to annoy me now. Why are these llamas just spawning everywhere without their traitor? Like, what the heck? Does he spawn and then just disappear? That is probably the most annoying thing in the world. Or he just dies, I suppose, by zombies. But when he turn into... Zombie... Well, he's probably dead anyway. Or he's in here. No. God, I hate... Okay, I'm sorry. I have to do this, but I have too many of these stupid things in my world now. Oh, I get leather, though. <laughs> Oh, a lead. Well, he's the only one I can find. <laughs> no, no. Now, I'm curious about this. I have one over there. But I didn't know in this version, can you go up to skeletons and give them a helmet? Like, I'm not sure if they'll actually even put it on. Okay, calm down. Here, take it. He's not putting it on. Oh, that's lame. So they only have to spawn with it. I want him to put it on. Come on. Put it on. Put on the helmet. Put it on. Put it on. He's not putting it on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Douse is going on a rampage. Killing all kinds of animals. But they always get in here. Oh, my God. There's a sheep. Oh, don't worry. All right. I don't know why they keep spawning in here. I've managed to patch up every area where they could possibly not spawn. I guess they just spawn on crops now, which is not cool. Yay. Oh, nah, uh, I think we have that one. Oh, yeah. Malahi, yes, we have it. Hey, Liam, you want to meet an old doggy? Well, he's not really that old. Well, he could be. This could be Pablo for all we know. Uh, he's still on the leash. Someone said give him a bone. Nope, he's still ours. Ah, <laughs> uh, should I have done that? Okay, now we have... Oh, we have too many dogs. <laughs> okay, but his name's gonna be A for Anonymous because he could be literally any dog we've had in this world. Oh, I'm gonna get confused. Okay, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, here it is, all right here. Okay, so we need to give him a certain color. White for Anonymous. Hey, looky there, we have white on us. Wait. Do you need bone meal? Oh, and then you use white dye. That's how you do it. All right, you... <laughs> That's going to be quite the color for you. There you go. Looks like you don't even have a collar. All right, so he is going to be A. <laughs> Just A. You know what? Just because there's a slight chance in the world, his name is going to be Pablo Jr. <laughs> Just because I miss Pablo. You can have a black collar. Oh, get back here. No, no, no. Get. Kind of curious as well how I'm going to get this bridge to connect to the house. As you can see, I didn't think it through too well. I'm actually... Right on the tower here, which is going to be kind of awkward, but I I'll be able to fit it in. Um, by the way, the whole idea of this mansion part of the house is going to be... I still think I want this to be the living quarters. Like, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep my bedroom over there. Like, all that is going to be working area, as it is already. It it is all, like, working area. And this is just going to be straight up, I don't know, I guess living. And we're going to have a lot of, like, redstone contraptions, and I want to have a butler. <laughs> Inventory's a little crowded, but it's all right. Uh, 
I'm going to go off on a little adventure for a little bit with uh, Liam and Pablo Jr. <laughs> I want to... I'm I'm really dying to find this uh, roaming trader. We keep having him supposedly spawn around here, but only as llamas are being left behind, and it's so annoying. So I'm actually going to go off in this direction, which is actually where I started last episode, where my little campfire is, where I tear down some trees. I'm just going to kind of walk for a little bit and see if we can come across one. Attack him! Oh, God, don't spit on me! Ha! Oh, they don't like him spitting on me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think he'll just spit on him, though. He won't... Oh, God, you guys are ruthless. Once again, no luck, I'm afraid. I've come to the conclusion. This is too small. This is the size we want right here. Um, if you can tell that, it's a little bigger. The ones that I've already built only have two windows on each side of the main door. This one has three windows, and as I can tell already, this is the better size because... The other one is a little bit too short for our building area, and this will give us more opportunity to build even more stuff into it. So that means I have to tear it all down. Huh. Now that we got all that cleaned up, the foundation is staying the same. I'm just going to expand it by a few, I think, and uh, we'll build the new face. Oh gosh, that looks weird. You know, one question I used to get asked a lot that I never really picked for question of the day is, if I could change one thing in Minecraft, what would it be? And I thought about this recently, and actually, one of the main things right now is the whole block-breaking system. You know how that works? You know, if you break a block, it just pops out and goes whichever direction it decides to go. That is probably the most annoying system, in my opinion, and I think that should be changed. Or at least have an option to turn it to where it... Ah! automatically goes into your inventory kind of like when you're crafting and then you exit menu it automatically goes into your inventory i wish that was in the block breaking category because it'd be very handy oh. and another thing is the new scaffolding see this right here scaffolding can't do this that's what makes dirt still the best scaffolding over <laughs> the new scaffolding block which is supposed to be made for this kind of stuff but you can't even bridge it like this because gravity came out of nowhere oh, oh, gosh, 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 gosh. <laughs> I was literally just about to come in here and kill this guy which I'm still gonna do don't break my watermelon I'm sorry jeez huh but did you see that we have a roaming trader right there it's so Whoa. Oh. Gah. gosh dang it I don't want to break my crops where'd you come from that sucks though we can't keep him he's just gonna Wait, can you... Okay. Wow, looky there. I have that right next to me. Lily pads? Kelp. Okay. Gunpowder? Oh. Okay. They're not that amazing <laughs> as I thought they'd be. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to test something. I'm going to get a name tag and put it on him. And put him in a cubby hole and see if he'll ever despawn. If he does, then we'll know we can't ever keep one. But that'd be cool if we could make him our butler, right? No. Um, by the way, do the villagers have their new skins yet? Because I know the old villagers, such as the ones in our prison right now, have their old skins. Because I don't think they changed them yet. I'm curious if they're actually going to change them. I hope they do, because if they don't, we're going to have to go out and find the new villagers, which is going to suck. Uh, yeah, I have one name tag left, so let's put it together. What should we name him? Something very, very special and unique. It has to be one of the best names in the world. All right, so I know we can't leash these guys. Uh, oh my gosh, you can't, you can't name them? That doesn't seem right. You look like a Bob. So I was gonna name you that. Why can't you name? Them? I'm crouching, shift, right clicking him, and normal right clicking him. Can I lead you? Oh my, you can't do anything to this guy. So that's it. They're just roaming traders that'll end up despawning. That's ridiculous. Why is that even a thing? Okay, I at least want to trade with him though and see what he can unlock. Oh, I need an em Oh, this guy's making me mad already. Oh my god, you need em Oh, I forgot. Uh... Why are my vault doors open? Oh my god. <laughs> it's been an intruder. No. Uh, he's making me break into my vault. Just to remind me of how much stuff I do. Ooh, never mind. I got some emeralds. I'm going to waste all these on this guy. Not all of them. Ooh, look at that iron. Okay, sir. 
Just unlock everything for me. Okay, so I guess I'll do his last trade first, maybe. Only one emerald, that's not bad. I need gunpowder, so thank you. You don't even make the any sounds, too. But you did unlock something. No, you didn't. You're just happy I traded with you. You son of a cheap gun. Okay, uh, another gunpowder, because I don't care about anything else. Yep, you still... You know, oh my god, you're cheap. Okay, give me some of that. That is the worst deal I've ever got. You're still not unlocking anything. What? This is all you have? Okay, I'll buy... Okay, I'm going to buy one piece of kelp for three emerald. That doesn't do the trick. Okay, you're going to buy your last thing here. An emerald for two... Oh my god. You gotta be joking. They come with four trades? This? You're lucky your llamas are here. I almost killed you. <laughs> Dude, that is... That's actually really disappointing. I was expecting a whole lot more. Like, unlocking trades where he could possibly sell you unique items. Like, very unique items. Man. Alright, so does that look better? It's... At least one whole section longer of two sets of windows normally ended right there, which would mean we would have to make some sort of tower thing right here. And that would have been just way too small, so yes, this is perfect. I don't know what kind of tower I'm going to put over here, but... I mean, I'm not even going to have towers in all four corners. This is just going to be like a very random house. Um, so this side could just be a normal corner, and then back on this corner... I might do that circular design one um, because I really like the circular one because I want to have my study in one of them, which is a place where I can keep important documents like my journal and stuff, you know, normal stuff. Yeah, uh, so I still got to design the roof. I'm still wanting to try something like that. I'm experimenting in my test world right now. But as of right now, we're done working on this for this episode. <laughs> Just the front face took forever to make. Which is kind of surprising. That goes to show how long this build is actually going to take. One thing you can't really tell from out here is what I did. Um, in, uh, well, it's hard to explain. Okay, so as you can see, this is going to be the first floor. And of course, that is the second floor. And what I did back here, you can kind of tell more, is I have a big gap between the first and second floor. This uh, makes it where I can have the first floor a certain height of a ceiling, but also make it where the ceiling is a different block from... The second floor floor you know so small stuff like that you can do in a big house that'll add a lot of detail so we can look forward to doing that <laughs> what's that red thing oh that's my beacon anyway uh so i have come to the idea that starting next episode or in between episodes i'm going to start taking off some of these signs and actually transfer them to books and since these are such a historical part of my world. Each question is going to get its own book and its own section in the library. Um, but I'm not taking all of them down. I'm going to go back in my episodes and take down the most recent ones, which I think are like over here and up in the top up there and up. Oh, my God. I, that's so many. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just now realizing how many how many signs are actually in here. It doesn't look like a lot, but okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fifty signs just right there, just in that area. And then you got all these over here, and then all that. That's probably like sixty or seventy. Plus, that's. I think we have over a hundred signs. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm starting to understand that now. Um, I mean, it's again, it's hard to tell on video, but. I don't know. I'm going to mess with it. I might, uh, since we haven't used upstairs in here in a while, we still got, <laughs> got, hey, that one's not named. No. Oh, okay, those aren't just named. Okay. Yeah, I have some chests named, as you can see. I've been kind oh, I've looting three. Oh, but I got a lot of armor stuff I haven't messed with yet. I haven't decided if I want to put it down there or do it up here. And I got a hole in the roof. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I want to do today's comment question of the Dizay. I'm lost. Oh my gosh. I actually got lost for a second. Today's comes from DC. Dallas, what other games do you want to play on this channel? P.S. I live in South Africa. Awesome. I like the accent of people in South Africa. I want to visit South Africa one day. That'd be nice. Anyway, um... What other games do I want to play on this channel? I get so many requests to play other games. But what people don't realize is that this is a Minecraft channel. Or anything to do with Minecraft or 
looks like Minecraft. The reason I say that is because the only other game you're going to probably see on this channel with a playthrough is Hytale. They just released a, uh, a, a small video on Twitter I just saw of, was it Antelope? Hey, you're still here! Get off my lawn! You suck. Yeah, was it Antelope running through the fields? They run in herds together. And they look so realistic. And you got to see, like, the god rays of the shaders. It's gonna have freaking shaders over this, which makes me hate this game right now. I don't hate it, but it makes me so mad at it because we're supposed to get super duper graphics pack, but we never got it yet because they've been slacking. And it's when they announced it, 2017, early 2000, or 2016 even. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, that's the only other game you'll probably be seeing on here, other than my best gaming moment. Sometimes I upload montages of my like games I play on Xbox, so yeah, don't be surprised when you see that. But thank you guys for watching this episode today. I feel as if it's been kind of productive. We got the whole front face of this, but now I'm going to go into my test world and work on, I guess, this. I don't know if I want to work on the side next or actually start building on the inside. I might do building on the inside. It's always best to build inside out before building the whole frame. Um, get out of my house. I mean, my pond. Anyway, I'm not stalling. By the way, uh, sorry for the one video a week right now. It's just driving me insane because I want to upload at least three. No, two to three. Oh, man. I, oh, it's making me so mad. And look, a lot of our sheep are despawning and they're getting out and they're turning white. Oh, so sad. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. See you guys later. Bye-bye.